Hey, what's up? Let us create this amazing scene in Unreal Engine 5. Welcome to Hoodie Studios, where we create photorealistic scenes like this. It's your boy A to the K to the K, Alexander King Kwame. Let's jump right into it. So before we start, I want to give a big shout out to everybody on the Patreon page. Big shout outs, man. Everybody on the Patreon page. Okay, so let's just get into it. I already have this thing in here. Nothing fancy. And at first, I want to just place in um, post-process volume. And I will search for... Um, infinite yeah let me just dive into it so infinite extend and I'll just select that and I will go down to the exposure to set it to manual and I'll boost the exposure a little bit so something like this all right so let's talk about asset so for asset we are gonna need two assets one from our own photogrammetry team and one from the mega scan so this right here is the asset uh let me place it just here um let me move the piva so i'll say uh pivot so set as pivot offset so this uh let me try and rotate it this way and maybe a little bit something like that something like this okay so this is the scan from the photogrammetry team this is actually a test so it's not 100% accurate. All right, let me try and turn the post process volume down so we can actually see some details. So actually, when we dive inside, um, we can see. So actually, when we dive inside, we can see the Nike logo and the holes at the top, at the top here, and some holes here too. And we can see the logo of the air here. I'm pretty kind of decent. So let me try and boost um, this up a little bit. Uh, maybe too much, but it's okay. So the next asset is gonna be from Bridge. So this is the next asset. I will just bring it in into the scene and um, 3D asset so this is it and I'll just bring it down here uh, let me see okay just rotate it a little bit and I'll just try to make the snaker sit on top of the stone okay so maybe something like this and I'll just yeah so um move it okay so i'll just bring this one to the front uh something like um rotate a little bit uh, maybe a little bit something like this and i'll just bring it straight here so let's see uh pretty great okay excuse me a little bit let me try and rotate it something like this actually yeah you know that's pretty um all right so let's talk about material so in so after photogrammetry you will actually get materials and um i have the material um where is it 
So yeah, this is the material. So I'll drag and drop the material on top and boom. Man, this is looking great. Awesome. Okay, so after this is what we actually going for, but the scene is not actually complete because we need a background and we need some light. So let's talk about lights. So of course we are gonna use HDRI in our scene. But before we do that, I wanna bring in some uh, rect rectangular light. Now maybe you'll be like, why bring in some rectangular light? Because you are gonna have HDRI in your scene and it's gonna get everything lit. But I will show you the effect of the lights adding up to the HDRI. And again, if you don't know much about HDRI, you can check some of my tutorials about HDRI. So definitely I'm gonna rotate this to the side, bring it to the top. Uh, so maybe uh, something like that, a little bit to the back. So acceleration radius, I will try and reduce it a little bit. So something like uh, this. And um, and for the door angle, I will try and push it in a little bit like that. And um, for the intensity, maybe I'll do it like one. All right, so maybe push it in a little bit, something like that. So I'm definitely gonna have one on the other side. So here, and I will rotate it to face it. So just like that. And again, I'm gonna have one at the top and I will rotate it, um, face it just like that. Okay, trying to get it something like this. Uh, I'll bring it here to so actually you have to check the radius because if I go beyond like let's say I go up is the radius is actually showing you that the light is actually hitting your asset. So if the radius is not actually getting if the asset is not getting into the radius meaning uh, I mean in the circle meaning it's not actually hitting your asset so you have to check that right all right so definitely I'm gonna get another last light so a little bit to the back uh, bring it down and rotate it yeah just like that but for this one I'm actually gonna boost the radius a little bit so something like this and I will be I'll make the intensity like two so just like that now I can actually turn off the directional light so visibility I'll turn it off and I'll turn the sky atmosphere off skylight of volumetric cloud oh definitely we actually have something so it's not that bad okay so what we have to do is bring in an hdri light so definitely you have to go to plugins and you search hdri so hdri backdrop and um you click here and you go to light and your HDRI backdrop. So boom, we got it. But actually we don't like this HDRI, so I'm gonna change it. Definitely I have my own HDRI from Polyhaven. You have to check the site up for all your HDRIs. You got free ones and you got dope ones you wanna buy. It's a very great website. Definitely check them out. So I'll click this one in and I'll bring it into the scene but it's actually not looking that much right so what we have to do is we go to advanced 
and use camera projection i'll just select that and now we have it all working out but i actually want uh let me show you why i actually want this part to be facing this back here so i will have to rotate the hdri so let's rotate it something like this so we are going to get into the HDRI backdrop and what I want to do is I want to go to the skylight and here at the source type I'm going to change it to SL specified cube map. Now I'm doing this because you know go you can you, you have to check my HDRI tutorials you will understand what I'm trying to do here. So in the cube map I will select this and I'll bring it in here. So everything is up and left left so uh let me try and speed a little bit so down so yeah so just like that and because we did a rotation on the hdri i have to uh copy the rotation so copy the rotation and i have to go to the skylight and I have to paste the rotation in here. So they are all aligned up. So uh, let me just go inside that. And let me set up my camera. So I'm going to set up my camera just right here. So I'm going to go here and I'll say create, uh, create camera here. So I'll select the second one. And let me get into my camera. Of course, we are out of focus, and uh, we can actually change that. But in the lens type, I'm gonna use a 12 millimeter because in the 12 millimeter we have um, minimum f-stop of 2.8 and maximum f-stop of 22.0, and I will change focus method to track it. and I'm gonna track this one here but you know I don't actually want much depth of field in the scene so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the current aperture so I'm gonna set it to somewhere like 9 now when we do that we are gonna have our scene going a little bit dark yeah it's because we are using a real camera in Unreal Engine. So definitely we have to go to the exposure and I'll set it back manual and I'll try and dial it way up. So yeah, something like this is actually gonna work out. Let me pull it back. Uh, let me try and turn it to, um, okay, yeah, cinematic viewport and I'll, I'll have the grid in here so they can actually align up a little bit so yeah so i'll delete this cube here and let me bring it to the top now remember the light maybe you, you might still be asking why the light let me turn off the light and let's see what happened can, can you see can you see what's actually going on let me just dive right in so maybe you can understand what is going on so Turn on the light again. You just saw that. Turn off the light again. Now, this is what the HDRI is going to give you. The default HDRI. Of course, you can just boot up the, you can just boost up the exposure. But when you add these lights, it actually make your asset more lit. So we can actually see your asset. So turn it back on, turn it back off. You, you can see what's actually going on. You can see the lights gave us more lit on our asset. So that is why I drop these light on our asset so uh, let me just G and yeah this is what our scene looks like yeah so yeah don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like leave a comment yeah leave a comment let me know what's up and um, take care I love y'all goodbye peace out